Ready to roll, Jimmy? This is Lois Lane reporting for the Daily Planet. Devastation literally shook the streets of Metropolis as unknown circumstances saw our fair city bizarrely spliced with Gotham City. Join us as we take a closer look at the points of impact, hoping to uncover the truth behind this new partnership. Let's go, Jimmy. Gotham Zoo's Arctic world suffered an unexpected makeover when it was spliced with the famous Gotham Cathedral. To what end is still a mystery. Careful, Jimmy. I think I did a less than favorable interview with these guys a while back. LexCorp, office of wealthy entrepreneur Lex Luthor, seems to have survived the incident intact. Perhaps this implies some involvement from Luthor? into a rough neighborhood. We now come live from Arkham Asylum, which is looking suspiciously low on inmates. Could they have taken advantage of the chaos and escaped? Jimmy, I think I did a less than favorable interview with these guys a while back. spillages at Ace Chemicals be attributed to the recent disasters or just poor health and safety protocols at the plant. Oh, this makes my head hurt. Someone else do it! The cities of Metropolis and Gotham are no strangers to unusual disasters. I mean, you remember that time everyone got turned into a pineapple, Jimmy? What a day! <laughs> <clears throat> but few catastrophes come close to what we've seen here today. Judging from the extent of the damage, it will likely take government officials a long time to return the two cities to normal. This is Lois Lane, reporting for the Daily Planet.
Metrum? Gothla Palopolum? As if one city's worth of dirty streets to clean up wasn't bad enough, now we've got two to deal with. Luckily for the good people of Gothamtropolis, it's a cool name, right? Yeah. It's either that or a full on power couple name like Gothless or Metum or. Yeah. Anyway, luckily for the good people, the fastest superhero on the planet is here to beat up crooks in two towns for the price of one. Hey, if you fancy a piece of the action, get your running shoes on and let's go. Now, these Gotham goons have a certain pretty charm to them. A certain kapow that you just don't get in Metropolis. Is he saying we don't take bats? Why, that... That's how Batman's in the lake down with a bat. Let's get him! Bad boys of Metropolis, let's hear why you should take this year's Golden Beanie Cap Award for villainy excellence over the thugs in Gotham. Count zero zero none not a not zilch. Yep, that is no goon standing. It's pretty good, huh? Yeah, I bet they could mush 50 cities together and we still wouldn't break a sweat taking out the trash. <laughs> Better not tempt me. I've got the instructions to fix this. But not the studs. Any ideas? <laughs>
Ah! 